Hey everyone, my name is Stefan Kraus from Byte to Bytes, the World Creator team. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the next shape layer style, which is the stamp layer. So again, please be aware, this is still early access. This version is still under development and will be released in about a month, so mid-August. And this video uh, is for showcasing how to use the stamp layers and gives you just a brief introduction. Further tutorials and better documentation are uh, in the development and will be very soon available. Okay, let's get started with the stamp layers. So, in the last video we covered the, uh, the shape layers, especially the sculpt layers. Now in this video we're gonna cover the stamp layers. So let's add a stamp layer here. Now it's already here, nothing has changed because we haven't imported a height map or an, an color map yet. However, the same operations that you have with the sculpting applies here. You have that override, you have the Catmull ROM interpolation modes, you have the offset, the scaling, you have the area stuff. And in this uh, case, you spe uh, specifically have the stamp settings like the height map and the color map. So we're going to import an existing height map. I've created one. I've done this with World Creator using one of the biome presets that we created before. So I'm using that height map to import it directly. Um, as you can see, I have imported it and I can now adjust a little bit the height scale just to match it for you so you can see better the height values. And on top of that, I'm going to import the proper um, color map. And I will also apply a filter on it because that was done with the white flows. And here we go. The stamp is actually just fully imported. And now we can utilize the stamp just as we did with the, with the, uh, with the sculpt layers. We can scale it, we can rotate it, we can move it around and we can use this really practic practically a very nice feature to entirely stamp our terrain using the pretty nice stamp layers of World Creator 2023. Duplicating stamps is also pretty cool. You just hit the left control, drag it, drop it on the stamp layers, then you have another one here. And we can of course use the blending properties to blend the terrain with the blending uh, with the other line terrain and especially um, with other stamps that we have imported. So it's pretty easy to build a terrain using stamps with that method and um, gives you many, many possibilities about this. And the really nice thing is that on top of these stamps, of course, you can also apply a stamp layer uh, as a, a sculpt layer and use the sculpt layer to further manipulate the stamp that you have imported. Okay, actually, that's it. There's nothing more about it. Um, hope you enjoyed. And yeah, uh, make sure to check the next video, which will be about procedural layers. Okay, thanks for watching and bye bye.